Good afternoon, this is Joseph Carr from Schaefer Chevrolet and this is a walk around on the 2010 Pontiac Vibe. I am going to move from the outside towards the inside and then show you the interior of the vehicle. Uh, I have recently just taken this vehicle for a test drive and it handles very, very well. Um, accelerates fast, braking's good, signals all work, no drifting uh, when you let go of the wheel. It's just a very, very good vehicle on the road right now. So that's uh, a definite plus on it. I'm going to be moving in here at closer in just a moment just to get a closer up so you can see if there's any beam scratches, any information that we're going to be able to go over. So let's start with the front quarter panel. Here's your wheels. Nice, uh, nice chrome tint up in the wheel well. No rust, which is nice. Tire tread, still pretty good. Moving to the uh, driver's side door. You know, notice there's nothing nothing of note here. Side view mirror. Passenger door. I know it's kind of dark because it's a gloomy day out, so I apologize for that. Uh, rear tire and tire well. Still in really good condition. Lever must be on the inside for that, so we'll get that fixed. The back hatch. Here's a spare tire, jack. Wow, this is dark. There we go, it's a little bit lighter on this side, so hopefully this is able to help you. Um, little, little scuffs on the drum right there. Tire well again. Again, moving along the door. Nothing. Nothing of real note, just a little uh, salt right there. Looks like bird poop. Probably need to wash my hands now. Looks like there's a scuff right here on the uh, side view mirror. Moving alongside, it looks like they may have rubbed up against something again on this tire and uh, rims. But no damage, it seems, to the body. Looks like they may probably just hit a curb or something. Moving up to the hood, here's your grill. Keys, uh, the key fob does work, as you can see. And if you want the alarm, hold it down. Kind of a quick fix. All right, let's move to the inside of the vehicle. Now you can take a look. Here's your door, controls, and condition. <sighs> Moving to the uh, exhaust, or turning the vehicle on so you can see the gauges as well. It's still in kilometers, which is why it says that. Um, here is your radio. There's the uh, mechanic said that they're still working to get the um, the volume to turn down. It's just mechanical, something on that aspect. Looking to the glove box here for you as well. Looks like they did not leave a driver's manual. So that is not with the vehicle. Uh, there appears to be cigarette burns on the seat. There is a smoky smell inside of here as well. Uh, this vehicle has yet to go through our um, cleanup since we've been able to purchase it over at auction. Closer view on the door panel and your steering wheel. Look into the back. Ceiling. Vanity mirrors, again, looks like they probably were smoking in here at one point or another. A few other burns up here along the uh, fabric. Again, 
get out real quick and show you the uh, the burns that are on this seat as well that I saw. I don't think you got to see close up as well, but there's a, uh, a cigarette burn right there as I had noted, along with some um, coloring right there, maybe bleach or something, may have been a work vehicle for some people. And that's your stability track to go off if you don't want that on traction control. Cup holder down through here does not have the auto adjust seats, you have to use it with the uh, lever in front. And again, move to the back. Hey, look, coins again. See, it looks like there's some cleaning that needs to get done on the inside. But this is the uh, the 2010 Pontiac Vibe. My name is Joseph Carr from Schaefer Chevrolet. I'd be happy to help you. Call me at 989-879-2211. Thank you.